Cascades Park Series. Tonight, we're talking about Centennial Field. It opened in 1924 to celebrate Tallahassee's 100th birthday. It's no longer in existence, but it is being remembered. WTXL ABC 27's Jade Belexa takes a closer look at the history of the field. It's a place where young athletes got their start and a place where people celebrated milestones. Dote Campbell Stadium isn't the first home of Florida State football. This is Cascades Park. It's the first place FSU started playing football in 1947. The price of a ticket? A buck eighty for general admission. Want to splurge? Two dollars and forty cents for reserved seating. And imagine this, $7.20 for season tickets. Not bad considering season tickets now can cost a few hundred dollars. At one time, Centennial Field was also home to a minor league baseball team. Well, Tallahassee Rebels was a D-League ball club, and you had one player named Gene Baker who made it all the way to the major leagues shortly after uh, Jackie Robinson uh, broke the color barrier uh, um, uh, in Major League Baseball. Flowers is the Jackie Robinson of Florida State University, the first black athlete to play baseball, in fact, any sport at the university. A statue sits on Florida State's campus honoring him, along with his sister, Dobby Flowers, the first African-American homecoming princess, and Maxwell Courtney, the first African-American FSU student. And as I tell people, um, I didn't, uh, I don't feel like I uh, created history by coming to FSU and playing ball. Uh, I feel like more or less I was captured by the historical moment in which I happened to come along. And part of his inspiration comes from Centennial Field, watching games as a youngster. Historians describe the field as an open-air civic center where graduations, political rallies, music festivals, and also the Maypole celebration were held. Flowers fondly remembers the Maypole event with a smile. Back then, it was a celebration of springtime. And what it was, you'd have a 10 to 15 foot pole stuck in the ground vertically. Then you'd have like 15 ribbons attached to the top, different colors. And then each person would take uh, uh, the end of the ribbons and they would go around the pole and interweave among each other until they plaited the maypole. Some of the original walls from Centennial Field are still in place and a part of the transformation of Cascades Park. Stuff, and this yeah. old ticket booth is where you would have plunked down your money to see football and baseball at Centennial Field. I would say that the Cascade Park sits on almost sacred and hallowed ground, which would be the history of the uh, Centennial Field. So it was just interesting for me to go back by there and observe what the city has maintained. And Centennial Field was knocked down in the 1970s to make way for a new park. Now it's part of the revitalization of Cascades Park. Jade Belexa, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you. Very nice.